what is up welcome back to my channel if you're new here hit that subscribe button if you're returning what's up friend so y'all i'm headed to the gym i'm headed to the gym i'm gonna just do some cardio today because i've been going pretty hard pretty hard with lifting weights and stuff lately so, <laughs> so i'm gonna just do some cardio i don't have a lot of stuff going on today y'all i just wanted to turn on the camera so this might be like a couple days in my life or whatever the case may be i'm not sure what this video gonna uh, hold i just wanted to turn on the camera because i'm just trying to be more intentional about turning this camera on and doing what i gotta do you know what i'm saying pushing some content out because i started um i started this channel last year and right after i started it i had my my accident so it's like i kind of had a setback but i don't have no excuses now so it's like push out content girl what are you afraid of what are you scared of do what you gotta do so like i said we about to head to the gym and after we leave the gym we're gonna go to starbucks because we're gonna try the new drink they they uh brought out this year for the winter um the gingerbread oat milk chai latte hot of course and i'm gonna just get a short because i'm really 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 trying to be mindful about uh my weight because i gained like 12 pounds within the last two months and i'm just trying to bring it back because one thing i noticed is when i start gaining weight i start gaining it like in my face first like my face and then i start getting like my little back fat after my face start getting big so i'm like hold up girl slow your roll you see your face getting bigger so just bring it back so yeah y'all i'm about to um start being more mindful about the stuff that i'm eating because i do not want to go back <laughs> like i do not want to go backwards like i don't i can't i won't so yeah but i just wanted to um do a little intro for the video and once i make it to starbucks i'm not gonna bring y'all out at the gym because like i said i'm just doing cardio once i make it to starbucks i'm gonna bring y'all back out so y'all can see my drink so i can do my taste test and all that good jazz but i'll be back y'all i'm back y'all so we just made it to starbucks i'm actually about to order my drink i am very excited about it i hope it's good because in my mind i'm picturing it's gonna taste like a ginger snap and i love 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 me a ginger snap uh oh my airpod it wasn't connected to to my phone anyway so i love 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 me a ginger snap so i'm excited to try this if it's not good i'm gonna be, I'm gonna be so upset so disappointed but we shall see um after i leave here y'all i do want to stop by this um fruit stand that we have by our house they sell like fresh fruits and vegetables and stuff because i want to give me some white sweet potatoes and i'm almost for certain they got some uh, let's switch gears real quick y'all y'all see my nails still ain't done from the last video because i still ain't put or had my daughter put those uh press-ons on for me or i haven't put them on yet so i probably do it this weekend though i don't know or maybe tomorrow i don't know yet we'll see hold on y'all Hey, can I do a um, gingerbread oat milk chai latte hot in a uh, short? Gotcha. Anything else for you? Nope. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. It'll be five sixty-seven. Thank you. Of course. All right, y'all. It's like, it's three cars in front of me right now. So I'll turn y'all back on once I get the drink so we can taste it and see if it tastes like a ginger snap or if it tastes like Christmas, we gonna see. All right, y'all, so we got the drink. The guy that worked out, I wish I was recording. The guy that worked out was like, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but why do you get a short? So I was like, well, I'm really just trying to be mindful of the calories. It's not, you know, about price or anything like that. Because y'all know the price of a short is almost identical to the price of a tall. And it's like, he was like, yeah, I feel like it's just a waste of money. I was like, it's really more so of a, um, a calorie type thing for me. He was like, well, why don't you just get one uh, less pump, you know what I'm saying, than your other drinks? No, I don't want to do that. I want to do it this way. So this, like I said, this is my first time ordering a short. So let's see guys and gals if this is really what it's supposed to be let's see yep <laughs> yep <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. the 
that ginger is so like the taste of the ginger you taste it you taste it oh wow to me it's just a just a tad bit too sweet but it's good it's good wow yeah i like that and it does give you uh the mindset of a ginger snap but yeah i like it i'll be back y'all once i make it to the um to the little fruit stand that i'm going to i'll be back child i thought i hit the record button and i didn't i'm just talking to y'all <laughs> but we didn't go to the fruit uh market we're gonna go tomorrow instead i ended up stopping by Publix instead and I got my uh, anniversary gift from them. So when it's your anniversary, they give you a free bouquet of roses. The, uh, it has to be the salsa bouquet though, unless they tell y'all something different. And I thought that was so cute. I'm not a flower girl at all, but it's free. So I'm like, let me go get my anniversary gift. All this money I spent in Publix, I deserve. But I thought this was cute as well. This uh, watermelon with tahini, they give you like tahini and chamoy in the top. And then a little watermelon bites. I feel like I overpaid for this, but it's all good. It was uh, two fifty, but it was convenient for me because I wanted to grab something quick so I can eat before I have to leave back out. And I'm about to throw these in the air fryer and eat these. For both of these, it's 320 calories and 22 grams of protein. So I'm going to eat this before I have to leave back out again. And then I got this Activia yogurt, the 60 calorie kind and peach flavor. I love this yogurt, y'all. I don't know if... uh if y'all like it or not but i love it so i'm gonna probably eat one of those two or either take them take one with me just in case if i get hungry again but yeah i'm gonna probably bring y'all back out uh when i go run some errands tomorrow but this gonna be it for today so i'll bring y'all back out tomorrow good morning y'all um, I don't know who I'm talking to when I say this, but take that PTO. If you got it, stop letting it, just stop letting it just sit there and, and you losing it. Cause uh, I know some jobs, if you don't use it, you lose it, but take that PTO. That's the, that's the word for the day. Take that PTO. But anyways, y'all, I'm headed to my door to school cause she forgot her name, uh, her name badge in the car this morning when I dropped her off at the bus stop. And after that, I'm going to the gym cause I'm gonna do me an upper and lower body workout. And after that, I don't think I have anything else planned after that, y'all, to be honest. But if I do, y'all know I'm going to bring y'all back out. Sunday is my dad's surprise birthday dinner, so I'm going to bring y'all out for that. But I'll be back, y'all. I'm about to run to my door to school real quick. All right, y'all, I'm back. So I'm done with that. Before I leave her school, I'm going to pour up my Oxy Strip. And this is the mango flavor. I don't know if I told y'all that or not. Yeah, I just got me a Starbucks cup. Pour that up. So I can sip on it. Y'all, for, for, us, for us chocolate women, I don't care how much lotion I put on my hands, my hands still gonna be ashy. But I got some hand cream in my car so let me put some of that on there to see if that helps me let me see let me find it oh here we go it is winter candy apple let's see if that helps because my hands are so freaking ashy right now and i put on lotion after i got out the shower this morning but for some reason they still so ashy smell good too all right y'all i'm back so we done at the gym i'm about to run inside a public so i can order my daddy birthday cake i don't know if i told y'all but we having a surprise birthday dinner for my dad on um sunday so i'm about to run in here and order his cake real quick <laughs>
it is Sunday. I'm on my way to church. Well, first I'm on my way to Target, then I'm on my way to church. And today is my dad's surprise birthday dinner, so I'm so excited for that. And his dinner starts at 5.30. So this is the way we got him. Um, I asked my dad, I said, hey, you know, me and uh, Tone Tone, because that's what he called my boyfriend. I said, me and Tone Tone want to take you to dinner um, at, at Shishu. That's the restaurant that we're going to. Uh, it's a hibachi restaurant. On Sunday, if you're not doing nothing, because his birthday is tomorrow. So he was like, yeah, that's fine. He said, yeah, that, that'll work. So we told him that we were going to meet at 6, but we told all the people that was coming to come at 5.30 because we can't... Um, we can't order anything until the whole party gets there. So I'm hoping that everybody that's going to attend is there by six o'clock. So once my dad make it, we go ahead and order. Um, and we'll, we'll go ahead and be seated in order. Uh, if not, whoever don't make it by the time my dad gets there, I mean, it is what it is. Because you know how us be. Don't want to be on time for, for nothing. And I'm... I got a bed, so I'm talking about me too when I say that. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna bring y'all back out once we make it to uh Target. And as y'all can see, I still don't got my net my press on on y'all. I still don't got my press on on. I'm gonna put I, I said I'm gonna get my daughter to do it, and I might still do get her to do it today before we leave to go to his dinner. Yeah, I probably do that. <sighs> yeah. So yeah, I'll bring y'all back out once we make it to uh, Target. all right y'all so we are done in tar -J. i didn't get anything i end up getting my daughter these uh army fatigue pants which i'm gonna show y'all i guess they call, they consider army fatigue let me show y'all real quick before i leave my parking spot they were uh 21 dollars, so i just got her these they like kind of made like cargoes i thought they were so cute they didn't have my size, unfortunately, because I would have got me up here too, but it's all good. <clears throat> all right, y'all, so it's later on in the day. I'm actually on my way to the car wash. I had to go home. I edited the video that I needed to edit. Today at church, they um, they gave us an option to get these, um, these little bags. Let me show y'all. This little sack. And they gave us a list of stuff they wanted us to buy. So this is the list, uh, the food to buy. So I'm gonna actually um, go to the store while I'm out either today or tomorrow. I'm gonna get this stuff. So basically. <laughs> Hey y'all, so let me turn this down. So we are about to head to my dad's birthday dinner. That's my baby in the back. Yep, so y'all, we'll be back once we make it to the restaurant. As y'all can see, Still don't have the nails on. I still don't have the nails on, but it's all good. We'll be back once we make it. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Look at that! Look at that! Happy birthday! Oh, man, 
And I'm sure y'all seen in the clips, he was smiling and just happy. And my boyfriend, he was cracking jokes and, and making them laugh. And it was just good vibes, y'all. It was good vibes. And yesterday was actually the day that my my dad, my grandma uh, had passed away. I think it was about 30 years ago because I was still a little baby. But um, so he was kind of in a funk anyways yesterday. So it was nice that he was able to get out of the house and just be around some good positive vibes y'all some good energy so i i love 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 that for him it was so nice to just see that big old smile on his face and just him just enjoying himself and soaking it all in because my daddy is 51 today and i know him looking my daddy looks good for 51 don't don't come for him don't play with him no i'm just playing y'all but it was nice but um we about to run this out of Walmart real quick so we can get the stuff for this food drive. I want to donate to at least three food drives this um this season. So this is one that I'm donating to, and then I want to do two more. And if I'm able to do four or five, amazing. But um, I definitely want to do at least at least three, y'all. So I'm gonna take y'all in here when we pick up the stuff. I got my list and I got my sack. Y'all let me buy. Thank you. I got my list and I got my sack. So I'm going to um, run in there and get the stuff. And after that, we're going to go to the gym. No, after that, I'm going to go get my eyebrows waxed. Then we're going to go to the gym. And then I'm going to go home and probably edit this video, y'all. So I'm closing this video out today. And yeah. So I'll bring y'all back out once we make it inside of Walmart. All right, y'all. So the first thing on our list is the one large can of yams. So we are going to get these. All right, the instant potatoes. Let's do, and a stuffing mix. Um, one box of dry stuffing mix. Let's get the twin, the twin pack with the chicken flavor. One of those. Oh, let's get this big box. Let's get mashed potatoes. like let's do turkey gravy these two cans yeah all right we need some marshmallows two cans of cranberry sauce and the cake and the ice Cranberry sauce. White cake mix. Super moist. Vanilla icing. Vanilla icing. Get a big bag. For 164, let's get a big bag. Alright 
house so we are done in walmart y'all that feels so good to be able to just buy something and know that it's going to a good cause to somebody that may or may not well not may but to to, to know that it's going to somebody that may not have been able to afford um food for the holiday season that was so that felt so rewarding so i'm challenging if you watching this video if you still watching this video i'm challenging y'all to just donate to at least one food drive this year if y'all never donated to a food drive before donate to a food drive a toy drive or something do something you know that that may change uh make an impact on somebody else's life you know because it's so easy for us to take small stuff for granted you know being able to have a, a meal on your table during the holiday season or being able to open up gifts um during christmas and stuff like that so i feel like it's good to be able to give back in some form or fashion um but yeah time winding down though y'all because um thanksgiving to be here before you know it so if you don't um if you're not able to donate to a food drive or something like that donate to a toy drive you know for um for christmas you know adopt the child off the angel tree because yeah i ain't gonna lie to y'all when i was growing up when i was younger and i stayed with my aunt and, and my mom or whatever uh i think it was called focus hope y'all but being able to go to that building and open up that little them little gifts and, and get that government cheese and stuff like that get the little fluffy socks and that really like brung joy i do remember that as a child that really brung joy to us you know because hey sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do get it how you live you know so being able to to help impact a child knowing that how it made me feel when i was younger you know i feel like that's so that's so rewarding but yeah so i'm challenging somebody to you know donate give to something for the holiday season don't be a don't be a, a grinch all right y'all i'm back so i forgot to tell y'all i gotta go take these um these pants back to target because my daughter didn't like them and my boyfriend said they was ugly too i just knew i was doing some y'all but i guess i was not so just to give y'all a brief update i'm gonna go to target take these pants back and i'm gonna get me some stuff for my hair because i need to wash my hair y'all my hair is like rusty and rusty it's been in this bun and it needs some tender loving care some tender loving care a lot of times when i straighten my hair y'all i leave it straight for a while even when it um even once i'm done wearing it down i just put it in like a ponytail or a bun or something and i i like to have it straight for at least a month because i'm like if i'm gonna put the heat on my hair i want to get my uh my wear out of the style shoe so i'm gonna wash it and and just twist it up so if y'all see me looking crusty mind your business <laughs> But um, we about to run to Target to take this uh, these pants back. Give me some stuff for me to wash my hair. And I'm going to call my boyfriend to see if he ate anything. If he didn't, I'm going to grab him something to eat. Because I still got food left from last night from, um, from the hibachi place. Because I did not eat all of my food. And my daughter, she didn't want her vegetables. She just ate her rice. So I put her vegetables in my to-go container. And I still got that. I'm going to probably add some, uh, some more shrimp to it for me to get some more protein. But that's it probably bring y'all back out at target because i'm going for hair care products this time so y'all be able to see what <clears throat> what type of hair care products I'm, I'm gonna get i usually get whatever cheap i'm not gonna lie to y'all but i want to try something different because i'm natural and i got a little heat damage i ain't gonna lie to y'all i got a little heat damage well a lot of heat damage but i don't want to um just cut all my hair off so i just cut it little by little <clears throat> So more than likely before I wash it again, I'm gonna cut some more of it off. Um, I feel like it'll grow back. It's here, it'll grow back. But I just don't wanna do no big chop just cause I got a little heat damage. I'm thinking about getting the Myel products, but I don't know yet. We'll see, we'll see what they got in here. 
And I'm going to definitely see if I got some coupons on my Target app. Because y'all know how I do with my coupons. But I'll bring y'all back out once I get in here. Okay, so I think I'm going to roll with this one, y'all. It's $12.59, $13.69 here. But Walmart has it for $8.90 and $10.50. So I think I'm going to do this one. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to do this and this too. All right, y'all, so we are done running errands for today. I didn't have to stop to get my boyfriend nothing to eat because he uh, he said he was just going to stop and get him some fish. So he going to pick that up. And I was going to stop by the church and drop this stuff off, but I'm not. I'm going to just wait. And I may, I may just wait until Sunday and take it. So I'm going to just take it in the house. Um, so it don't melt because it's hot out here y'all it is hot it's 75 degrees fall wear mobile fall wear <laughs> hey y'all so before i end this video i wanted to show y'all what i told y'all i was going to show y'all that i ordered from my walmart grocery order so dove has holiday treat scents i got the sugar cookie hand wash i got the sugar cookie bar soap and I have the sugar cookie body wash, which I just used when I took my shower. And y'all, it smells so good. The only thing I hate is they don't have a, a lotion for this scent. But if you have like a, um, a vanilla lotion or like a shea butter type um, lotion, it'll pair really, really good with this scent. They have a peppermint bark, a cinnamon pumpkin pie, and then there was another scent as well, I believe. Um, but I definitely want to try the peppermint bark next. So I'm gonna let y'all know how that one, how that one smell. And y'all remember earlier when we went to Target, we picked these up. So possibly, um, by the time I do the next video, which I'm trying to do it and have it posted, um, sometime next week, I should be to wash my hair by then, y'all. Cause if I don't, I'm trifling. But <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all know how this, uh, work for my hair. Because as I told y'all earlier, my hair does have heat damage. And like I got in the shower and the steam from the shower did make it poop up some, but let me show y'all. I ain't cutting my hair off y'all. Cause I didn't, I didn't have heat damage before and I just cut off little by little. So, um, usually when I straighten my hair, I just cut off maybe like an inch to an inch and a half at a time. But yeah, you could tell I have the heat damage, but. All right, y'all, so that's going to be it for this video. If you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much for rocking with me. Um, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Also, give this video a big thumbs up, and I will possibly see y'all next week.